Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. You know, it's uh, been very hot here. We hit 93 degrees in the shade yesterday, and uh, it's been so hot that I've had to start running my swamp cooler. And then uh, I started thinking about, well, you know, I put together this uh, remote recharging and emergency power system last year for recharging a whole bunch of stuff around my house. Decided, well, maybe I need to show you that system because this is a system uh, and this system is, consists of two 100 watt uh, solar panels uh, and you can see they're two different sizes. I got these a while back and I just had them in storage. I decided I'm going to make me a recharging power station for recharging things like my e-bikes uh, and running my microwave, which I only run occasionally once a day for maybe 15 minutes and uh, running all my outdoor power tools. Uh, recharging all kinds of gadgets and things like that, running my power tools and my weed eater and recharging my lawnmower and anything like that that I don't run off my main system uh, because I, I like to keep my main batteries filled up. I got a 400 watt system. I keep my main batteries filled up for nighttime use. And so I use this system during the day when it's nice and sunny. Got lots of extra power to recharge all kinds of things. So I put together this remote uh charging station okay and it is two 100 watt panels one of them is a Renogi panel which I really like the Renogi brand they're the same panels that I use on my main 400 watt system the other one is an off brand I don't remember what brand it is and then I had this trainer and this is a four foot by four foot you've seen these I had this trainer and I was originally going to put a platform on to carry my e-bikes around I decided I really didn't need that so I decided well this would make an excellent a uh, power station that I could take with me if I need to take it for remote power somewhere because it has a trailer hitch on it I can hook it to my vehicle and take it wherever I want and it's also really convenient because it's so I can angle it or move it wherever I need to this would be a good system for somebody who maybe needs power for uh, an outdoor shed or maybe if you're building a, your small house and you want to take power along with you but you don't want to run a generator with gas over five dollars a gallon uh, you know running a generator can get very expensive. This will basically replace a generator uh, like a 1500 watt generator that I use all the time and I get absolutely free power from the sun every day. Now this is on a 4x4 trainer and uh, it's made very easy so that I can angle it. Okay, I can lift up or down the panels and in summertime the sun is a lot higher up in the sky and so I usually angle it down so that it gets more sun. In the winter, the sun is lower in the sky. So then I just raise it up with this right here. And I, and I can angle it to wherever it's getting the best sun. So that way I'm getting the most power from my system at all times. It's also on wheels, which makes it really convenient. When I want to just move it around, I just tow it wherever I want to by hand. And then place it back in here. Because when I'm like mowing my lawn, I want to mow in this area and do weeding around it. I just pull it back out of the way do my weeding and mowing and stuff like that and then pull it back up here where it goes and I can set it wherever I need to. This would be nice if you like have a garage or something like that. You could pull it inside your garage when you're not using it. Pull it outside when you want to charge up your batteries. Now this is two 100 watt solar panels. Renogi panels, very good. And then it's uh, I have a Renogi Wanderer uh, power controller. The power controller that I use is designed for lithium batteries. You can get the PWM controllers, which you can use for AGM batteries or flooded cell batteries. I went with the Wanderer because I also have a 200 amp hour ampere time LifePo 4, which is the lithium iron phosphate batteries. They are a better battery. They're more expensive, but they have a lot more capacity than the AGMs. They're also a lot lighter. And so I store that in the cabin. Now I, I have the, the Wanderer uh, controller and I have the Ampere Time 200 amp hour life pole for battery in the cabin. Okay, so I won't show you those because it, it's kind of hard to, to take video of those. Those are then hooked to a Renogi 1200 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter, which I use for running, and that has enough power. It will run my microwave, it will run my Hess Air swamp cooler power up all my tools. In fact, I'm going to lay out my tools here and show you all the kind of stuff that this system will run, will uh, operate. And it, this works excellent because I have an outdoor cord. And so this is my outdoor power system. I also have USB plugs on the inside 
for recharging small gadgets like my phones and stuff like that. When I don't need to use the 1200 watt inverter, I just shut it off. If I'm running big tools, then I turn the 1200 watt inverter on to run it because some power tools like power saws and uh, the microwave and, and uh, that, they may use up to 1200 watts, but then they kick down usually run somewhere around 900 to 1000 watts. My microwave runs around 700, 800 watts right around there. So you wanna get a, a, an inverter that will at least handle your biggest tools. I would say at least a 1200 watt with 2000 watt peak. But uh, if you have larger tools, you may want to go with a 2000 watt inverter or even larger. So I found 1200 watts is sufficient for everything I need to run. So I'm going to show you exactly what uh, this system will run here. But just so you know, this is a very easy system to put together. Okay, so what you're going to need for this system, like I said, I've got two 100 watt panels. If you want, you could go with one single two, uh, one single 200 watt panel. And then I've got mine on this four by four trader. They fit on there really nicely. Uh, they're two different sizes, so they're a little bit odd on here. But two 100 watt panels will fit on here great. And then I have because they have holes in the back of the frame. I used high tensile uh, wire and I wired it to the holes on the frame. So that, that holds it down, it's very secure, it's never went anywhere. And then you're gonna need some MC4 connectors. Uh, you, all panels now come with the standard, which I'll show you here if I can get it around in the sunshine. You're gonna need these cables here, these are MC4 cables. Uh, all solar, all of the uh, solar panels sold today pretty much have the MC4 cables. I'm using 12 volt panels, so that uh, MC4 cables are, are uh, standard on either 12 volt or 24 volt panels. I prefer 12 volt for my systems. And you're going to need uh, two of those, as you can see, to connect them with a, you can see the uh, splitter there. It has a splitter so that it goes in. Now, I'm running straight 12 volt, so I've got a splitter on both wires. And then I've got those run into two single wires. And then those will run into, now you can get these in lengths up to like 30 feet. I think you can get these MC4 cables. You can get them up to 30 feet long or maybe even longer. But what I did, I'm kind of cheap. I ran mine, you can see, I ran mine directly into an old extension cord, uh, an outdoor extension cord that's heavy-duty wire, and will handle the voltage for that. So that's that runs into the house, and that way I'm running a 12-volt system. I just have a single wire running into the house. So you can mount these panels uh, on a shed. You can permanently mount them. My 400-watt system I have mounted to my hitching post, which I've shown before. And those are four 100 watt uh, Renogi panels uh, mounted to cinder blocks on my hitching post. And uh, I've had those there for over 10 years now. They haven't moved a bit. And that runs my cabin, uh, everything in my cabin, my fridge, my lights, everything like that. That's my permanent system. This is my remote recharging system. And uh, I like it because it can be moved, taken anywhere I want to uh, take it, use it for uh, pretty much like a generator, wherever I need power. I can take this thing. And if you want, they make the, uh, so they actually make a uh, box that will go right on the front of these tongues. So if you want, you could put your battery, your inverter, and your controller right in the tongue tongue box and take it along with you because it's got a tow hitch on it. You could take it wherever you want, use it like a, a generator wherever you need it to. I keep my uh, battery and uh, controller in the cabin and just plug it in where when I need to. Uh, because I use the LifePo 4 battery in there, I kind of like to have it inside the house so it, somebody can't walk off with it. Uh, but you can you could make a platform or you can get one of those boxes, tongue boxes, and attach it to that. And so then you have your remote power station that you can tow along with you uh, wherever you need to while you're building your off-grid cabin or whatever, and then use it for your power system for your cabin. Pretty neat little setup. Okay, folks, this is just a small sample of what this system will run or recharge and two of the things that I recharge a lot around here is my e-bike this is the Ariel X e-bike and also my uh, uh, DK uh, Frigo scooter over there because I ride these instead of buying gas at five dollars a gallon uh, I found the e-bike has been very uh, exceptional in replacing what I would generally run to town because this e-bike will do 35 miles per hour and has a 40 mile range. I can get all the way to town and back on a single charge and still have some battery left over. I recharge it daily uh, off of this system here. And then I also have plenty of power still for running tools like my power chainsaw. running tools and these are important if you're like building a small house or something or you're working on a project 
I have a hundred foot extension cord, which I can pull out here, and then I use this for running all my power tools. Okay. If you're on a construction site, you can pull this up and use it for your mobile power station. Get this in the right way. Running things like your power control saw, big uh, saws. Runs all these tools excellent. And one of the things that I really like is it will recharge this uh, electric mower. This is the Sunjo mower. And uh, this recharges and it replaces my gas mower. Okay, uh, My small mower, it has a 14 inch blade. I use this for doing all my edging, small yard work. I also use my uh, corded weed eater, which I just got done using here. Uh, with that 100 foot cord, I can go completely around my entire place clean up my yard, uh, no gas needed, okay? So those are just a few small samples of stuff that you can uh, recharge and run from this system just fine, just a 200 watt system. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, as always, go by my website, simplesolarhomesteading.com. Uh, you can pick you up some uh, really inexpensive plans for off-grid living and building your own cabins and Please do subscribe and like my videos. Thanks, folks, and have a great day.